सदाशिव शंकराचार्य मध्यमाचार्य पर्यता वंदे गुरुपरंपरा नारायण पद्म वशिष्ठ शक्ति तत्पुत्रपराशर व्यास शुक गौड़पदम महांत गोविंद योगींद्रमता शिष्य श्रीशंकराचार्य मथा पद्म पाद हस्ताक शिष्य तम तोटक वार्तिकमन अस्मदुरून सततमस्मी टुडे व्यास पूर्णिमा आर गुरी पूर्णिमा वी सीक द ब्लेसिंग्स ऑफ द एंटायर गुरु परंपरा द टीचर्स ऑफ अवर वेदिक स्क्रिप्चर्स गुरु परंपरा मीन्स the lineage of the teachers from the lord himself the shloka tells us narayanam padma bhuvam the whole shloka talks about 14 teachers the lineage later there are number of teachers we cannot enumerate all of them therefore the first lord narayana or sada shiva we can take dakshina murti so from the lord himself the teaching has come narayanam padma bhuvam who are those 14 teachers the lineage prominently from the beginning the shloka runs like this narayana means the lord narayana himself is the first teacher then brahma padma bhuvam padma bhuva means hiranya garbha or brahma brahma ji we say chaturmukha brahma पद्मा उत्पद्यते इति पद्मभुव तम पद्मभुव यो ब्रह्मा विदधाति पूर्व यो वै वेदाश प्रहिणोति तस्म लॉर्ड गेव दट वेदिक टीचिंग टू ब्रह्मा हिण्य गर्भ द सेकेंड टीचर दट मीन्स ब्रह्मा इज द मानसपुत्र ऑफ द लॉर्ड Lord gave the teaching first to Brahma. Second teacher is Brahma. From that uh, Brahma, the third teacher is um, for Brahma. Another next son is um, Vasistha, Narayanam Padma Bhuvam. Then comes um, um, Vasistha, the third Vasistha Shaktinche. नारायण पद्म भुव वशिष्ठ सो ब्रह्माजी सन् ईस् वशिष्ठ महर्षि फर् सेवन टीचर्स फादर मद फादर एंड कम डिसपल सो ब्रह्मा द सन् ऑफ लॉर्ड नारायण दैन ब्रह्मा सन् ईज वशिष्ठ दैन डिसपल एंड फादर आलसो so vashishtha is the disciple of brahma and uh, vashishtha is um, uh, the disciple of brahma and the son of uh, brahma also therefore um, lord uh, 
Narayana is the first teacher. Then comes Vasishtha's son, the fourth one, the teacher is Shikti. Shikti is the son of Vasishtha Maharshi. That Shikti is also the disciple of Vasishtha Maharshi. Therefore, Vasishtha taught this Chatur Dasha Vidyasthanani to Shikti, his own son disciple also. So, Narayanam number one, Padmabhuvam next number two, to such teachers we do salutations, Namaskara. Fourth teacher is Shikti. Vashishthasya Putraha is Shikti, he is also um, son of Maharshi Vashishtha. Then fifth teacher is Shakti's putra is Parashara. Shakti ncha tat putra Parashara ncha. Parashara Rishi is the son of Shakti. That Parashara learned from his father Shakti the Vedic teaching all fourteen uh, Vidyasthanani. What are all those uh, Vidyasthanams? I will explain later. Parashara is the fifth teacher in the lineage. Then comes um, sixth teacher is uh, next. Uh, Parashara's uh, son is Vyasa Bhagavan. Vyasa is the son of Parashara. Parashara Shiktincha Tatputra Parasharancha Vyasam Parashara, uh, son is Vyasa. Vyasa is the son of Parashara and a disciple also. From his father he has learnt all the Vedic teaching, Shastras. Then comes uh, seventh teacher, uh, Shuka Maharshi, Shukacharya, seventh teacher. Vyasa is the grandson of uh, Vashishtha and son of uh, Parashara. Therefore, Vyasa name is called Parasharyam. Parasharya Vachasaroja Mamalam. In Gita Dhyana Slokam it comes. Then Vyasa Bhagavan's son is Shukacharya, the seventh teacher. So how many we saw now? Narayanam, number one, Padma Bhuvam, Vashishtha, Shakti, Parashara, then um, uh, Vyasa, the seventh one is uh, Shukacharya. So this is the father come disciple parampara. From eighth teacher onwards, the sannyasi parampara comes. From Shukacharya, um, Gaudapada learnt all the Chaturdasha Vidyasthanani. Hereafter, Sishya Parampara, Sanyasi Sishya Parampara from Gaudapada Acharya onwards. In the shloka, Gaudapadam, he said that Harsva is taken, not Gaudapada, but Gaudapada. Why that is taken? Because for a shloka, meters sake, chanda sake, uh, Harsvam is taken. So, Gaudapada alone is Gaudapadam. To such Gaudapada Acharya, we salute. So, Sishya of Shukacharya. So, Gaudapada Acharya is a sannyasi. From Gaudapada Acharya onwards, um, some more we are seeing the lineage. Gaudapada Acharya is famous for his Mandukya Karikas. We know, we already saw those Mandukya Upanishad Karikas written by Gaudapada Acharya, he comes in the great lineage, Guru Parampara. Then eighth teacher is, <coughs> sorry, ninth teacher, eighth teacher is Gaudapada, ninth teacher is um, Govinda Bhagavatpada. Govinda Bhagavatpada, ninth teacher in the Guru Parampara. Then his Shishya Adi Shankaracharya. That is the tenth 
teacher in the Guru Parampara lineage, Adi Shankaracharya, disciple of Govinda Bhagavad Pada, who is also a sannyasi, who is the teacher of uh, Gaudapada, who is also a sannyasi. So, then uh, Bhagavad Pada, Shankaracharya, next to him, there are his four disciples are in the lineage they come. After Shankaracharya, 11th, 12th and 13th, 14th, at a time all the four teachers comes, Shureshwaracharya, who wrote Vartikams to Brihadaranya Kopanishad and Dakshinamurti Manasolasa Vartikams, he wrote many Vartikams. After Shankaracharya, Sureshwaracharya is the teacher in this lineage. Then comes uh, Padmapada, of course they are all in uh, same time, but they are all very popular teachers of this uh, 14 Chitur Dasha Vidyasthanani. Then Padmapada, he um, walked on the water, the lotus came on, from the water and he walked on the water, he is known as Padmapada. His Panchapadika is uh, uh, very famous. Um, Pankani Pade Yesya, Padmani Pade Yesya, therefore his name is called Padmapada. Okay, Panchapadika he wrote. Then comes uh, uh, next uh, teacher, Hastamalaka. For him, uh, the vision of Brahman is uh, like a um, amalakam, means the bare fruit in his own hand like that. Very, very easy in Arsam. So he is known as Hastamalaka. In that shloka I read, um, Sri Shankaracharya Madhasya Padmapadancha Hastamalakancha Sishyam. Next one, Totakacharya. He wrote Totakashtakam in Totaka meter, therefore he is known as Totakacharya. Uh, the 14th one, Hastamalaka is the 13th one. It is a coincidence like Chaturdasha Vidyasthanani, Chaturdasha, 14 teachers, Guru Parampara lineage. Later comes Asmad Gurun Santata Anatosmi. I worship the entire Guru Parampara until my Guru. I cannot, or no teacher can re, uh, repeat all the names of all the teachers. Therefore, we have taken only 14 here, the names. Of course, Asmad Guru, no, up until my Guru, <laughs> like Dayananda Swamiji, Paramarthananda Swamiji, like that. This is the uh, lineage in the Guru Parampara. <coughs> What uh, Vyasa Purnima we consider today? Why? Guru Purnima is known as Vyasa Purnima. What is the reason? Because we uh, consider Vyasa Charya is the communicator in between this lineage. He gave Vedas, he codified that means Vedas have got three bhagas. All the Veda mantras he brought into Rig Veda, Yajur Veda, Sama Veda, Atharvana Veda. He codified the Vedas into four. Veda mantras are given by the Lord Bhagavan. But Vyasa Acharya, original name is Badarayana. He lived in Badrikavanam in Badrinath. Therefore, his name is known as Badarayana or Krishna Dvaipayana. He lived in an island called Krishna Dvipam, Krishna Dvaipayana. Original names are Krishna Dvaipayana and Badarayana. But Veda Vyasa came later after dividing these four Vedas, uh, Vedas into four divisions for the purpose of learning, easy learning. Rig Veda, Yajur Veda, Sama Veda, Atharvana Veda, Samhita Bhaga, Mantra Bhaga, Aranya Bhaga, that he comes in Upanishad Bhaga, also in Aranya Bhaga. 
So these bhagas are divided by Vyasacharya. Therefore, Badarayana has got the title Veda Vyasa, one of the Chiranjivis, Veda Vyasa. Therefore, we remember Veda Vyasa on this day, Guru Purnima, because he, is, he comes in the middle of this lineage. Because of him only, Vyasa Bhagavan only, almost Vyasacharya is the avatar of Lord Vishnu. Vyasaya Vishnu Rupaya. We consider him Vyasaya Vishnu Rupaya. That Vyasacharya, uh, having divided these Vedas, Vedas are having six Angas. Angas means limbs. To understand Veda, you require a lot of other ancillary subjects. Now, after seeing the 14 uh, uh, teachers from the Guru Parampara, the lineage, now we are coming to what are the 14 Vidyasthanani, Chaturdash Vidyasthanani. What these teachers give actually? All these 14 teachers in this lineage, what they taught to his son or disciple or to his sannyasi disciples, what they taught? They taught the four Vedas. Along with four Vedas, they taught the Angas, the limbs of the Vedas. Shiksha, Kalpam, Vyakaranam, Niruktam, Chandas, Jyotisham. In Mundakopanishad Visa. Siksha Kalpam Vyakaranam Niruktam Jyotisham. All these uh, six are Angas. In all Upanishads, you know, many times I enumerated them. You can call it as phonetics, prosody, or etymology, uh, grammar, like that. Siksha Shastram, Vyakarana Shastram, Kalpa Shastram. Kalpa Shastram is that which helps us to uh, know how to do rituals. Niruktam is that it is Vedic dictionary like <laughs> etymology, Vedic dictionary. Vyakarana means Sanskrit grammar, Paninian grammar. So all this put together Veda Angas. Veda comes under Angi, all these six come under Angas. Siksha Kalpam Vyakaranam Niruktam Chandas Jyotisham. And not only that, Veda also has got Upangas secondary limbs like. These six are main limbs. To understand Veda, one requires Vyakaranam, one requires Kalpa Shastram, one requires, that means knowledge of Chandas, knowledge of um, Siksha Shastram. All this we saw in Taitri Upanishad introduction in Shiksha Valli. I explained there in the first chapter of Taitri Upanishad. Shikshavalli. So all of you know that. Many of you know uh, who attended my Upanishad classes. Others you are all listening from the um, website. <laughs> now Upangas are also four. Now four Vedas plus six uh, Angas. How many? Totally ten. Then comes uh, four Upangas, secondary limbs, uh, they are Mimamsa Shastram, Analysis, Pujita Vicharaha, Reverential Analysis on the Vedic Subject, Mimamsa, that is number one. So, Rugveda Mimamsa, Yajurveda Mimamsa, uh, Samaveda Mimamsa, Samhita Mimamsa, Aranyaka Mimamsa, we can call it or Brahmana Mimamsa. Samhita, Brahmana and Aranyakam. These are the three um, bhagas, portions in Vedas. So Mimamsa Shastra. Then comes Nyaya, Logic, Tarka. Nyaya or Tarka or Logic. All are synonyms. So that comes under Upanga. First Upanga is called Mimamsa. Second Upanga is called Nyaya uh, and third uh, um, is called Purana. Puranam is uh, another Upanga. Then fourth Upanga is uh, Dharma Shastra. So four Upangas. Now four plus six plus four. 
how many totally 14 four vedas four main angas and uh, six angas and four upangas totally 14 chaturdasha vidyasthanani these are all taught by that uh, teachers to his disciples those days those days means from ancient time they are totally dedicated for shastra study that is why great great acharyas we are remembering today 14 uh, uh, chaturdasha vidyasthanani they used to master uh, they used to master therefore these teachers are um, adorable to all of us now later the division comes uh, this is for the comfort or convenience of the later generations after these 14 chaturdasha vidyasthanani whatever later comes they are all come under smritis they come under even this Mimamsa also has got two divisions, Uttara Mimamsa and Purva Mimamsa. Purva Mimamsa is known as Karma Kanda and Upasana Kanda. Veda, there, there are three divisions, Karma Kanda and Upasana Kanda and Jnana Kanda. Karma Kanda and Upasana Kanda comes under Purva Mimamsa. Uttara Mimamsa means Jnana Kanda. All of you know this. This is the auspicious Vyasa Purnima day. We have to recollect and remember again and again. We have to see the glory of our scriptures or literature, Vedic literature. This is known as Vedic literature. And what people are talking about English literature, uh, another not Tamil literature, Telugu literature, like many languages. But all these literatures, before they are coming, we had a, a great literature called Vedic literature, given by the Lord Himself. All four Vedas given by the Lord Himself, they are called Apaurusheya. Apaurusheya means they are not born out of any human mind. Therefore, they are called um, Apaurusheyam, four Vedas. Later, whatever came, Siksha Shastram, all these are all come under Paurusheyam only, based on Vedas. Now, Pura Mimamsa, Uttara Mimamsa. Later, uh, Puranas. Vyasacharya wrote Puranas uh, for the sake of uh, uh, ordinary common people concretized that Vedic teaching, Upanishadic teaching. Concretized means the teaching is abstract, very difficult for people to understand, for common man also to understand Vyasacharya wrote Puranas. That Puranas are also is of two types. One is called Itihasa, another is called Mahapuranas. Puranas are known as Itihasa and Maha, 18 Mahapuranas, Vyasa Bhagavan wrote. Vyasa Bhagavan only has given this Uttara Mimamsa, Pura Mimamsa division and he has given 18 Puranas and Itihasas. So Purana division is to Itihasa and Mahapurana, 18 Puranas. Then again from 18 Puranas, he wrote Upapuranas, 18 Upapuranas totally 36 Puranas. Who wrote na? Vyasa Bhagavan? So he, his contribution is so high and sacred for all of us. We have to uh, remember Vyasa Acharya today because we are indebted to Vyasa Bhagavan. Today uh, that teaching alone is coming because we are all studying listening to Upanishadic teachings because Shankaracharya wrote Bhashyams, commentaries and Vyasa Bhagavan wrote Brahma Sutras also and Upanishads, Mantras. Then from Purana Itihasa there are two, 
one is ramayana another is mahabharata two types of itihasa itihasa means thus it happened it means itihasa means thus it happened ramayana happened mahabharata happened charitra history of great dynasties chandravamsha suryavamsha and kuruvamsha those are all called ramayana and mahabharata and from mahabharata bhagavad gita has come who wrote mahabharata vyasa bhagavan who wrote ramayana valmiki maharshi so that bhagavad gita which we are studying now 18th chapter bhashyam came from mahabharata that mahabharata came from itihasa it comes under itihasa itihasa comes under purana all these are nothing but uh, they are all crystallized for us uh, in this all that uh, they say chaturdash vidyasthanani prakasham mahabharatam mahabharata is a light upon the 14 uh, vedic literature 14 types of vedic literature is focused in mahabharata in that mahabharata only bhagavad gita comes so these are all our literature wealth we have it is like um, gnana khani we can say but uh, we are not uh, educated in this uh, 14 but at the bhagavad gita from ramayana mahabharata bhagavata we are studying so some people who are dedicated the teachers those who want to become teachers veda vedantic teachers they have to study shiksha nyaya mimamsa etc etc but to understand you need not study vyakarana tarka mimamsa and all but for a teacher who want to teach vedanta they have to study all angas and upangas another important point all this uh, um, puranas mahabharata ramayana itihasa they come under dharma shastra mahabharata and ramayana come under dharma shastra um, and 18 upapuranas are also all talk about ishvara all 18 puranas and mahapuranas talk about to the famous popular purana is bhagavata shrimad bhagavatam written by vyasacharya 36 puranas he has written imagine we cannot imagine even how great vyasa bhagavan is so today people are enjoying maha shrimad bhagavatam bharatam no because of vyasa bhagavan so therefore Uh, these are the 14 uh, um, vidyasthanani chaturdasha vidyasthanani now we saw the guru parampara what they taught to their disciples these are all 14 vidyasthanani they taught to their disciples so that is why adi shankara acharya quote uh, vishnu puranam bhagavata puranam all he quotes from all it's 36 puranas he quotes see see the knowledge how much knowledge he has got so we are really uh, you know blessed to have such a great uh, teachers before us for their uh, commentaries are only we are studying now from that uh, only we are getting this uh, uh, glimpse of knowledge because of their writings now let us come to the meaning of veda what do you mean by veda veda is known as shruti also veda is known as shastram also all of them are shastram why they are called veda why they are called shruti why they are called shastra we should know that is our responsibility veda means vidanti anena dharma dharmo iti vedah veda is that through which i learn i come to know or i understand what is righteousness 
what is unrighteousness what is dharma what is righteousness and what is adharma unrighteousness i come to know through veda or vedic connected te teachings puranas also or uh, um, itihasas also itihasa and puranas are nothing but vedic teaching only in a concrete form in a easy pic pictorial form pictorial means picturized that form we are studying this is called veda artha one artha there are many meanings for veda veda means with to know it is derived from the root vid vid means to know what to know dharma and adharma i come to know through veda then veda is called shruti also why it is called shruti shruyate dharma dharmadikam anaya iti shruti because of this which text which shruti i hear i i hear that dharma and adharma what is dharma what is adharma what is punyam what is papam dharma you can take it as punya also righteous actions gives punya unrighteous actions give papa dharma dharma you can say are punya papa also i can say people do not know curse no boon and curse they talk sin and really speaking dharma adharma alone coined as punya and papa dharmic karmas give punya punya gives sukham adharmic actions unrighteous actions give papa papa gives dukha the simple thing people have to understand why one person is suffering na because of papa karma or adharmic karma but not knowing this shastra person did adharmic actions knowingly also you might have done so dukha is because of papam papa is because of unrighteous actions adharmic karmas sukha is because of punya punya comes because of the knowledge about dharma dharma and adharma when i understand i can neutralize my papam i can increase my punyam so that punya helps me to get guru shastra etc so this is about shruti so dharma we are talking where from this dharma has come vedo khilam dharma moolam veda is the moola for entire dharma what is dharma is nothing but veda is talking about that vedo khilo dharma moolam manu smriti says in second chapter sixth shloka vedo khilam dharma moolam so dharma adharma you understand through veda that vedic knowledge is prabhu samhitam given by the lord prabhu samhitam that is why veda is not different from bhagavan bhagavan is equal to veda veda is equal to bhagavan another name for veda is brahma brihattamatvat vedic literature is so big and vast because it is teaching about saguna brahma nirguna brahma therefore it is known as brahma whoever study that brahma which is nothing but veda is called brahmachari brahmachari is nothing uh, but who is reveling in the teaching of vedas studying about brahman is called brahmachari bachelor when bachelor who did self you have to complete the brahma vidya those days nowadays in vana prastha only people are coming that is a different thing hmm? our ancient parampara is in brahmacharya itself the boy or girl has to study about sagunam brahma and nirgunam brahma and understanding dharma and dharma karya akaryam that's why lord krishna said in bhagavad gita तस्मात् शास्त्रम् प्रमाणन्ते कार्या कार्यो व्यवस्थितो व्हाट इज टू बी डन व्हाट इज नॉट टू बी डन कार्य अकार्य व्यवस्थितो शास्त्रम् प्रमाणम् देन व्हाई इट इज कॉल्ड शास्त्रम् वेदा इज कॉल्ड शास्त्रम् वेदा इज कॉल्ड श्रुति श्रुति 
ఐ సెట్ ద మీనింగ్ శ్రూయతే ధర్మాధర్మాధికం అనయా ఇది శృతి శాస్త్రం మీన్స్ శాసనాత్ త్రాయతే ఇది శాస్త్రం ఇట్ కమెండ్స్ a person human being and protects the human being that is why it is called shastram commands not to go towards unrighteous actions commands to do righteous action actions for the well being of the human beings that's why shastram is the pramanam dharma is what is dharma what is adharma there is another shloka it says వేద ప్రణహితో ధర్మ వాట్ ఎవర్ ఈస్ ఇన్ అకార్డింగ్ అకార్డెన్స్ విత్ గవర్న్డ్ బై శాస్త్ర వేద ఈస్ కాల్డ్ ధర్మ వేద అండ్ ధర్మ ఆర్ నాట్ డిఫరెంట్ ధర్మ ఈజ్ ఈక్వల్ టు వేద వేద ఈజ్ ఈక్వల్ టు ధర్మ దట్ ఈస్ వై ధర్మ ఈజ్ ఈక్వల్ టు భగవాన్ భగవాన్ ఈజ్ ఈక్వల్ టు ధర్మ వీ సే వీ షుడ్ నాట్ లుక్ ఎట్ దెమ్ యాజ్ సపరేట్లీ మెచ్యూర్ పీపుల్ refined minded people never see them as separate illiterate people who do not know anything they only see bhagwan is different veda is different dharma is different if you study shastra you understand properly you look at them as synonyms bhagwan is equal to veda veda is equal to dharma dharma is equal to bhagwan bhagwan is equal to dharma dharma is equal to veda all are synonyms that is why veda pranahito dharma hya dharma stad viparyaya opposite to dharma is adharma hya dharma stad viparyaya vedo narayana sakshat veda is sakshat narayana <laughs> it is not separate so if you look at the veda you are touching the veda means you are touching lord narayana in a very house vedas should be there we don't have vedas even bhagavad gita at least you keep uh, at least the sara of vedas upanishads upanishads you keep at least that is a part of veda only bhaga of aranyakam bhaga from the vedas so keeping upanishads is keeping vedas in your house every house must have um, upanishads uh, at least భగవద్గీత రామాయణ భారత భాగవత దట్ హో హౌస్ ఈస్ పవిత్రం వేదో నారాయణ సాక్షాత్ స్వయంభూరితి శృతి ఇట్ ఈస్ స్వయంభూ వి టాక్ అబౌట్ స్వయంభూలింగం స్వయంభూలింగం మీన్స్ ఇట్ మేనిఫెస్ట్ బై ఇట్ సెల్ఫ్ దేర్ ఫోర్ శృతి స్వయంభూరితి శృతి వేద ఈ శృతి ఇట్ ఈస్ స్వయంభూన నాట్ క్రియేటెడ్ యాజ్ భగవాన్ రెవల్యూషన్స్ దే ఆర్ భగవాన్ డజెంట్ హ్యావ్ బిగినింగ్ అండ్ ఎండ్ వేద ఆల్సో డజెంట్ హ్యావ్ బిగినింగ్ అండ్ ఎండ్ వేద ఈజ్ అనాది భగవాన్ ఈజ్ అనాది భగవాన్ ఈజ్ బిగినింగ్ లెస్ అండ్ ఎండ్ లెస్ వేద ఆల్సో ఈజ్ బిగినింగ్ లెస్ అండ్ ఎండ్ లెస్ our sanatana dharma vaidika dharma is based on vedas therefore sanatana dharma is also beginningless and endless in this way we have to understand what is sanatana dharma means i will ask my guru and i tell you no, no. sanatana dharma is beginningless endless because it is vaidika dharma వైదిక ధర్మ వైదిక సనాతన ధర్మ ఈజ్ అనాది బిగినింగ్ లెస్ అండ్ ఎండ్ లెస్ బికాస్ వేదాస్ ఆర్ బిగినింగ్ లెస్ అండ్ ఎండ్ లెస్ వేదాస్ ఆర్ గివెన్ బై భగవాన్ భగవాన్ హిమ్సెల్ఫ్ ఈజ్ మేనిఫెస్టింగ్ ఇన్ ద ఫార్మ్ ఆఫ్ వేదాస్ దేర్ ఫోర్ భగవాన్ ఈజ్ బిగినింగ్ లెస్ ఎండ్ లెస్ దేర్ ఫోర్ వేదాస్ ఆర్ ఆల్సో బిగినింగ్ లెస్ అండ్ ఎండ్ లెస్ దిస్ భారతీయ సంస్కృతి ఫుల్లీ డిపెండింగ్ అపాన్ వేద టీచింగ్ therefore vaidika samskriti is also beginningless endless sanatana dharma i hope i have communicated now the smritis all uh, uh, smritis uh, are the next literature written by great maharshis whatever said dharma shastra in that puranas uh, all puranas uh, 
such a great great maharshis uh, later they extracted the teachings from puranas also they wrote lot of smritis all come under dharma shastra only just uh, i enumerate their names uh, there are 18 rishis uh, wrote 18 smritis number of uh, smritis are there just uh, we can uh, utter their names on this auspicious day we hear their names we get lot of punya just i want to enumerate um, manusmriti only maximum the people know because uh, people that also we know many people know because some people are criticizing manusmriti that is it is very popular in negative sense <laughs> not its greatness knowing the greatness of manusmriti people are not talking but to point out the Uh, minus points in manusmriti there are no minus points but people look at from their vision so manusmriti is very popular many of you know that is one smriti they are all called paurusheya because rishis from their minds their thoughts they have written the dharma shastra manusmriti is a dharma shastra then atri uh, atri maharshi wrote another smriti atri smriti vishnu Harita, Yajnavalka Smriti, Vushanaha Smriti, Angirasa wrote all these are the names who wrote Smritis. Yama, Apastamba, Samvarta, Katyayana, Brihaspati, Parashara, Vyasa, Shankhalikita, Daksha, Gautama, Rautatapa. All these 18 uh, Rishish names they wrote uh, Um, smritis in which smritis they talk about dharma shastra and the essence of veda whatever veda talks from that uh, they have written in shloka form dharma shastra and uh, these are the shastras and nowadays uh, many people are not studying only apastamba and manusmriti some people are studying what are all other parashara smriti is very very popular and yagnavalki smriti is very popular i have gone through some of the smritis that's why i like that apastamba smriti manusmriti yagnavalki smriti very very beautiful texts if you study them you like those smritis very simple shloka form they have given the entire vedic teaching so these are all called smritis shruti and smriti smriti is uh, apaurusheyam shruti is uh, uh, apaurusheyam smriti is paurusheyam whatever is not given in shruti also sometimes smriti talks but smriti should not go against uh, shruti teaching shruti means vedic teaching uh, smriti has to teach always in keeping with uh, shruti shruti smrtyor parasparam vadhe shruti eva gariyasi shruti alone is a pramanam for us whatever said in smriti that is also pramanam it is in keeping with shruti therefore shruti and smriti these are the pramanams they should not contradict each other they won't contradict but people look at them as though they are contradicting but there is samanvaya there is consistency in the purana smritis dharma shastras all of them their main uh, pramanam is prabhu samhitam veda only they are all in keeping with them nowadays uh, all other people cannot read vedas upanishads and all that's why they study bhagavatam the bhagavatam is also nothing but upanishadic teaching only ramayana is also upanishadic teaching only bharatam also upanishadic teaching only they are in keeping with vedic teaching moksha dharma parva in mahabharata is full and full of vedic teaching only therefore what i want to say these are all our literature amazing and those Uh, purana itihasa also dharma dharma vishaya only comes therefore we have to inculcate this mahabharata ramayana and bhagavata 
in our children's mind at the age of three, four. Uh, grandfather, grandmother should talk about the stories of uh, Rama, Krishna and all other rishis. We have to teach them the stories. Children love to listen stories. When I went last 15 days, uh, we were teaching, Maheshji and myself both, we were teaching Ramayana, Bhagavata and Mahabharata. Children, they have to be educated. What is Dharma? What is Shastra? What is Veda? All these, uh, they are all small children, teenagers have come. And uh, we have to teach them at very, very young age. This, if we miss that, uh, later life will be more uh, you know, um, confusing or not able to take decisions in their life. Therefore, our elders uh, kept uh, these uh, Itihasas and Puranas for uh, very young age children, very young age, at the age of three, we have to start uh, talking about Rama, Krishna, even two also, <laughs> they listen, they love to listen the stories. Later only they understand, at the teenage, when they come to 15, 16, 17, we had taught uh, Bhagavad Gita, Sattva Guna, Rajo Guna, Tamo Guna and how to develop Daiva, Daivi Sampat and how the Mahabharata, Dharmic Gunas, Asuri Sampat, all these if we teach them, it is wonderful for next future generation, it is all our responsibility. We have to teach to our children. Whatever we are enjoying through Shastra, it is our prime responsibility to give to our next generation also. Therefore, that Dharma Shastras, Dharma and Veda are not different. Therefore, so Dharma means what? Why to teach children? Why to live happily, to live peacefully? Their life also must be happy, peaceful. And how you are enjoying the Shastra? Same way our children also should enjoy later in future. So, dharati loka niti dharmaha. Your children may ask, dharma word is not there anywhere in the world, any language, in any religion. Only in Vaidika dharma, sanatana dharma, dharma word is used. What do you mean by dharma? I have given meaning many times. Now also I want to share because there are plenty of definitions of dharma, nirvachana. Dharati loka niti dharmaha, dharma lakshanam. That uh, which is uh, holding the entire universe is called dharma. Dharati loka means that which is holding the people, sustaining this entire universe uh, is called dharma. It's one lakshanam of dharma. And another meaning of dharma is dhriyateva janaihi iti dharmaha. That uh, which is followed by, uh, implemented by the people of great uh, thinking people, they implement that. They do anushthanam, practiced by the people that is called dharmaha. Dhriyateva janaihi iti dharmaha. Another lakshanam, this is second lakshanam. Third lakshanam of dharma is Dharma saram idam jagat. The whole world is the, nothing but the essence of dharma. So that's why we say dharma rakshati rakshitaha, dharma meva jayate, satya meva jayate, dharma triumphs, righteousness triumphs. We say, on what basis we are telling? Because Bhagavan is dharma, Bhagavan always stand with the Pandavas only. Why Pandavas he stood? Because Pandavas are dharmic. He gave all his army to uh, Kauravas and he came to Pandavas side, means dharma. Without holding the weapon, just he is uh, uh, directing the Pandavas for dharma yuddha. So life is uh, dharma, adharma yuddha, battle between Righteousness and unrighteousness. All this we get from Vedas. 
दीज आर ऑल गिवेन बै व्यास भगवान् पुराणास् इतिहास ऑल गिवेन बै व्यास भगवान् वाट इ ग्रेट कॉन्ट्रिब्यूशन व्यास भगवान् डिड फॉर द एंटायर ह्यूमैनिटी देर फॉर ऑन दिस आस्पिशस् व्यास पूर्णिमा वी कॉल इट एस गुरु पूर्णिमा बिकॉज गुरु इज वन हू रिमूव मै इग्नरेन्स गुकारस्वंधकारो वै रुकारस्तर्तक अंधकार निवर्ति गुरुरीदीये गुरु इज वन हू रिमूव मै इग्नरेन्स मुंडकोपनिषत् शौनक वेन हि आस्क अंगिस् हे गुरो प्लीज टीच मी एक विज्ञान सर्व विज्ञान तस्कते सर्व विज्ञात भवती प्लीज टीच मी बै नोयिंग हुच एव्रीथिंग इज नोन वेन शौनक आस्क अंगिस अंगिस सैड द्वे विद्ये वेदितव्ये पराचैवा पराचा देर आर् टू सैनसे शौनक ओनली टू सैनसे परा अंड अपरा मेटीरियल अंड स्पिरीचुअल परा इज स्पिरीचुअल सैन अपरा मीन मेटीरियल सैन हैविंग सेट दैट परा विद्या इज अक्षर विद्या एंड अपरा विद्या इज मेटीरियलिस्टिक सैन वाट एवर अदर दैन आत्म विद्या ब्रह्म विद्या वाट एवर यू स्टडी इज कॉल अपरा विद्या ईवन शिक्षा कल्प व्याकरण निरुक्त ऑल ऑफ दम कम अंडर अपरा विद्या ओनली बट टू स्टडी अंडरस्टैंड वेदांत यू रिक्वयर लिटल बिट नॉलेज अबउट दिस अपरा विद्या आलो एंड वाट टू टाक आफ् कंप्यूटर सैंस जुवालजी बॉटनी अंड आल दे आर् आल ओनली फर् उदर पोषण टू फील युवर स्टमक टू गेट जॉब एंड अंगिस टेल्स टू शौनक अपरा विद्या अविद्या इट ईज ऐस गुड ऐस इग्नरे बिकाज युवर इग्नरे नर्चर अंड नरिश कलटिवेटेड मोर अंड मोर इन अपरा विद्या मेटीरियलिस्टिक सैन वाट अवर् चिलड्रन आर् स्टडी इन अवे डेज एंड फीलिंग सो प्रउड टू स्टडी दोस् मेटीरियलिस्टिक सैनसे लेटर दे कम टू नो आफ्टर फिफ्टी सिक्सटी अगेन दे हेव टू कम बैक हियर ओनली बट इट ईज टू लेट इट ईज टू लेट वेरी वेरी वास्ट लिटरेचर यू कैन नाट अंडर्स्टैंड इफ यू कम एट द एज आफ फिफ्टी सिक्सटी सेवेंटी इट ईज वेरी वेरी डिफिकल्ट बट यू गेट ओनली ए ड्रॉप लेट मनशांति बै स्टडिंग दि स्क्रिप्चर्स बट टू अंडर्स्टैंड देर डेप्त यू हेव टू इनकलकेट दस् वैल्यूज इन द चिलड्रन फ्रम यंग एज दट ईज द मिशन ई हव स्टार्टेड नौ दिस फर् वेद विद्यार्थी रीसेंटली द कैंप इज मेट फॉर दट शिबिर प्रबोध शिबिर ई कैप्ट to educate the children from young age i want to put the seeds in them so that uh, so they can feel happy and understand our uh, chaturdasha vidya sthanani on this auspicious day vyasa purnima day we all of us worship vyasa bhagavan and our namaskars to entire guru parampara and dakshina murti and lord narayana our adi gurus therefore i am very happy to share about our guru parampara and chaturdasha vidya sthanani and that is dharma is a part of our life so we are also blessed to have this entire guru parampara and we are so fortunate and let us progress continue in this spiritual journey and impart to younger generations also in one way or other we contribute whatever way we can contribute this knowledge should spread more and more uh, as much as possible to our next younger generations also to remember that to uh, recollect that these are the festivals we celebrate that is vyasa purnima or guru purnima with this uh, i conclude my talk om purnamada purnamidam purnat purnamudachate 
ಪೂರ್ಣಸ್ಯೂರ್ಣಮಾಯ ಪೂರ್ಣಮೇವಶಿಷ್ಯ ಓಂ ಶಾಂತಿ 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 ಹರಿ ಓಂ ಶ್ರೀಗುರುಭ್ಯೋ ನಮಃ ಹರಿ ಓ